are both excited that you guys have come to watch this weekend experience right now. Yeah, you're watching it, but I believe we also have some very special guests, and those are our first time viewers. And I believe that they should put their favorite animal in the chat because we want to know more about them since it's their first time, right? Mm -hmm. And I believe that there's something that we do not month. And that is the month, the theme, bouncing back to get back up again. Wow, that's, that's very good. And there's some something else we've been doing all month, the life hack, resilience, getting back up when you when something gets you down. Wow, that's very good. And uh, some, like, different examples of resilience is if I was, like, playing a game and I kept on losing, but I practiced so I could bounce back up and win the game. Well, wow, that's a very good example. That's very good. I like that example about how you bounce back up and go back and keep practicing. I guess there's something else we've been doing all yeah. month. It's all month long, mm -hmm. and we've been doing the memory verse. And this month's memory verse comes from Isaiah, Isaiah 40, 40, 31. 31. And it is, but those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They, they will run, run and not get tired. They, they will walk and not grow weak. And that is from Isaiah 40, 31. And I believe that there is almost some music that's making me bounce back. And I think it's a praise and worship, praise and worship. I was lost and could not see. I was searching, you found me. Your love opened my eyes. My heart forever changed. No more standing.
excited. Why are you excited? One, I'm excited because last week, Mr. Cameron jumped and I caught him mm-hmm. and my back was hurting. And, but then I realized that um, life gets tough and I had to keep on going. And I was reminded by, our, I'm going to tell you the bottom line a little bit earlier. I'll tell you a little earlier. It's like, you can get back up. You can. Like, That's something God can help you get back. Because yes. I promise you, when I got the message that said that we're recording, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it because Mr. Cameron was like, ah, I caught him. Ah, ah, pop, ah, all that. And literally earlier this week, I was walking like this. I was walking like, oh, man. That can happen. You know who I look like? I look like Abraham. You know what? Because Abraham was pretty old in the Bible. He was. We're going to talk about him later, but I look yeah. like Abraham. He was really old. Oh, look, Abraham right there. That's how I felt, and that's how you I looked. Felt. I was like, oh, just like, oh, God. It's like, okay, go back to the resilience slide. We're good over here. So, Miss Tina, mm-hmm. we're talking about this idea of trust. Yes. Right? Trusting God. That's right. And getting back up when something gets you down. down. That's right. So Wait, can, b- before you go on, I, I really need to know. How many of our friends out there mm. have been showing resilience? Because I feel like Get there are some great again. stories out there of mm-hmm. things that they did, and they were like, but I got back up again, Miss Tina. I got back up. So, Ooh, there's a song. I get knocked down, but I, I get, get up, up again. again. It You're is. never going to keep me down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's right. I need them to put in the chat because I want to know what did you do in that you got back up again and you just kept going because you trusted God? You, because you, you, right, all of you. them. You, Especially you, you, you in the back. You. Because I know mm-hmm. you do yep. have a story. Put it in there because I want to know. I want to go in the chat and read and say, wow, that is amazing or whatever. Mm-hmm. I want to know this stuff. So put it in the chat, please. I really, really want to Put it know. in the chat. Let us So like you said, Mr. Mr. Pastor Bishop Andre over did you here. you forget my name? <laughs> I did for one wow. quick second. For one quick second. Wow, but look, I you did. showed resilience. But I showed resilience and I was like. you had to get back up. Because I'm telling Andre, you. Yeah. He got back up. He had yeah. hurt back, Feelings. but he was like, hey. Feelings mm, are hurt. Mm, but you're good. Ten you're years of ministry. It is. But I'm he knows I it's all love because it's resilience mm. over ten years. Yeah. So, that, yes, yeah. resilience over ten years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stretch that. That's right. Long Stretch time. It. Stretch Long it. time. Anyway. Yes. So, all throughout the Bible, there all are throughout. people who have shown resilience. That's right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back, back, back and show you because... I know you're like, okay, we talked about Jesus mm-hmm. and the disciples, and they got back up. Well, that's the only place. Not at all. It we all should give them clues. We should give them clues to see if they know who we're talking oh. about that showed res- We I mean, are looking kinda, for God's clues. We, we are, are looking, looking for God's clues. clues. We, we are looking for God's clues. clues. I wonder where they are. <laughs> so, just made it up. I love that. We're going to coin that. Uh, I mean, it Copyright. might have from somewhere. Nope. But, nope. You know, all you have to do is nope. change one word, and you can trademark it. Okay, well, there you go. All right. So that. you kind of gave them a clue, and we had a picture up here. Pepsi is pretty much bad Coke. Uh, you know what? I'm not, I, I'm not going to get into an argument with you right now. So why don't we skip right over that? Because that's As talking, talking crazy. About resilience real quick. What is it? I don't even want to go there. Right. I don't even want to go there. Yeah. Like, Sierra mm. Mist? Nope. Sierra We're not, nope. Mist. Sprite. We're not doing this right LeBron, now. LeBron, who do y'all have? Pepsi has who? Sir? Coke has everybody. This is not the time. We are talking about resilience. Oh, we're giving clues. All right. First yeah. clue. This guy uh, under a whole bunch of stars. And the stars are there. And somebody told him that your lineage will be a nation uh, that resembles the stars. Is that how he said it, though? I don't know. I just felt like that okay. was like. It's better than doing it the Lion King. And then Every he and then he was like, touches. but I'm old <laughs> and my wife is old. Are you sure? <laughs> Drop it in the chat if you know who it is. Spell it that? right. Come on, I'm looking in the chat. Here we go. I'm gonna give you 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm gonna get this dance by the end of it. That's it. I All right. And if you got it, we're gonna throw it on the screen. It was. Ba, 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 Abraham. That's right. Abraham. And that was an easy wife. one because we kind of showed that before. <laughs> but yes, that was Abraham because he was like, but I'm old and she's super old. I mean, look, and we're going to have what? Right. So God but let them know that they were going to have a child. They trusted God. Sarah literally like, ha, 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 ha. not me because, you know, man, look at her. <laughs> she got the hair and all the, ah, yes. ah, 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 ah. So right. here's Sarah. And they had to trust 
God in that situation. One, God took Abraham from a place where he had, like, he had known all his life. He mm-hmm. said, I want you to go leave that and trust me. Then he tells him he's going to have a child and he's old. And then it gets even worse because then he even is told to sacrifice right. his son. Right. And trust Trusting God. Trusting God through all of that. That's be, a big deal. Right. Huge deal. Right. Big deal. So showed resilience, mm-hmm. got back up, being old, had a child, amazing things. But then guess what, y'all? Oh, I almost gave, I almost gave the clue away. The next person we're going to talk about, this mm-hmm. person, mm-hmm. colorful. I mean, not as colorful as us. We just got the gray on today. But yes. this person was super colorful in their attire. There you go, in their attire. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and huh, they were giving given a lot of trust to manage a lot of things Ooh. in someone's household. Yes, uh-huh. and... Uh, they spent some time in a well. What? But not like the well that you're thinking. I'm talking about like the ditch and the ground and all the good stuff. That wasn't the good part of the story. No. All he right. had a very long life of having to trust in God. Right. So in the chat, if you know who it is, drop it in the chat. We're going to give you 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bum, 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 did you I, know that? I knew you knew it. Wait, wait, wait. Who Why had on always, the colorful on. No, coat? No, 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 no. Why does that always work when you do it? I just have a magic touch. Who is this? <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> That's right. Joseph in his colorful coat. Do you guys remember all the things that happened to Joseph? Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff. Did he have to have resilience? Absolutely. Where did that resilience come from? Trusting God. I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Like, like we said, what did his brothers do? Put him they in the well? They didn't like him. Oh. They sold him. And then he had bad luck. Then he gets over there with Pharaoh, and he's leading like some amazing. Like you said, he's leading. He's in charge of so many things. Then somebody like does something bad against him, says that he did something that he didn't really do, and then bad things happen. But then he's all right. But then ultimately he ends up helping That's right. his family. And he says, what, what y'all meant for evil God, God meant, for, meant good. for good. And so many great things happened, but the whole time he had to trust in God. That's right. I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'd have been like, no. Nah. With so many things, with so many things from like little boy status to grown adult status, just things happening. Boom, 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 boom. But he was resilient uh-huh. because he trusted in God. Boom. There you go. That's number two. We've got y'all knew that. One you knew more it. for y'all. You put it in the because chat. Because after, ooh, oh, I almost gave it away. After they're freed, um, some great things happened, but somebody, mm-hmm. ooh, there was mm-hmm. a burning bush. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, did something wrong, ran away, burning bush, <laughs> took off their shoes, had an encounter with God, and God prompts them to go do something great. great. Even though they had just done something really, 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 really bad, God still wanted to use them. That's right. I want to try it now because I just feel like when you do it, it's going to work, and when I do it, it's not going to work. And it was Moses. No, that's not, no, see, this is why it didn't help. Because you didn't give enough to clues. Let's give another clue. Okay. He had a staff. Mm-hmm. And he led the people with the staff. Mm-hmm. And what is something that you guys remember that Moses did? Mm. Part of the Red Sea. Right. So he put the staff down. Mm-hmm. And that's how you know that it was bum bum ba Moses. See how that works? That's how it works. That's how it works. No. It's up there now. It's up there. See? Do you guys remember? All the things that happened with Moses, he had to be resilient, right? Man, he got the word from God, and he was like, are you sure, though? Are you sure, though? Like, are you sure it's me? You want me to do this me? stuff? Me? But I don't, I don't talk very good. You want me? Why did he go country when he said, I don't talk very good? I don't know. <laughs> but he kind of did. I don't know. I don't know. I did. Mm. So Moses was nervous about that. Right. Didn't feel confident in nope. it. But then ultimately, and... He had this baggage that he was carrying because Moses, if you read the Bible, Moses actually killed somebody because they were talking about his friend. So he yeah. carried that guilt. Oh. And he was like, God won't use me. He don't need me. He ran away from so much. I did God. bad stuff. He's right. not going to use me. I did bad stuff. He's not going to use me. And even though we do some things wrong. We do. God still uses us when we choose to trust in him. Even That's though, right. like you said, Moses could not speak very well mm-hmm. he trusted in god he followed god and then when his people started turning because they're like he trusted in god even more that's right 
Trust. If those three, Abraham, mm -hmm. Joseph, and Moses can trust in God through all those things, I feel like I feel like you and I. I feel like you and I. I feel like and all our friends. Yes. We can trust in God. Absolutely. That's actually one of our key values. So even when we God mess up. Even no we mess up. matter what. We can trust God. No, no matter, matter what. What? What? God's love goes on and on and on and on and it doesn't ever stop. stop. That's right. Totally a song right there. Hopefully if you were in preschool with us, you remember it. But Tina, we've come to this part. <sighs> Do these. they remember what the bottom line is? The bottom, oh, I gave it to them early too. I Let's know, I know, but we didn't say this is the bottom line. The bottom line, my friends, is this. Trusting God can help you get back up. Trusting God can help you, my friends, get back up. There you go. Never forget it. Mm -mm. And if you do, you can watch this over again and just hit rewind about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And then you'll be able to see that. Oh, look at this. Getting back up again. Get 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 back up again. Oh, Lord, I need to stretch my back. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm going to make it. you got to make I'm it. Gonna he make got it. back up again. He exercised mm -hmm. his back from hurting it with Mr. Cameron. But he's good now. I am. All right. So we come to this point. Good. Oh, prayer. Oh, I thought you were like field goal post. <laughs> So oh. we're going to do this and then this. And then you're going to pray or am I praying? I'll pray. Come on now. Father, thank you so much for these examples of how we can get back up again. We just have to trust in you. Even if we do something we think is super bad, we know we can trust you and we can get back up again. And you can still use us to do great, great things. Just like all of the examples in the Bible, we can use them today. Thank you so much for that opportunity to do great things. Thank you so much for just forgiving us of those bad things that we've done. And mostly thank you for loving us so, so much. We pray this in your son Jesus name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I love it. I'm going to try this one more time. Resilience. 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 Res okay. You have to do it like this. Resilience. Uh, uh, I'm out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi, I'm Hampton. Welcome to the Live It Out segment. This month's life app is resilience. Resilience is getting back up when something brings you down. And so here's an example. In my basketball game, I got fouled and I fell to the ground. But I got back up and chose to keep going. The person who inspires me is me because I always have faith in myself, even though things get tough where I can't do it. Bye. Hello. Wow, that was a really good story. And yeah. I liked it, but did you like it? Yeah. Well, well we want to know if they liked it. Yeah. So well, if they put a thumbs up emoji in the chat, if they liked it. And I believe that there's something that goes with the story. And that is the bottom line. Trusting God that he could help you get back up. Oh, yeah. And there's also something called virtual small groups. And virtual small groups, well, I believe you should describe it. It's where you could go with your friends and talk about what is happening in this video. Oh, like the story and the games and everything. Yeah. And after... And something that's happening this summer is camps. camps. And there's camps like VBS camp. and Pine Cove. And there's Camp, camp in the COVID City and, and camp, camp COVID. COVID. But if you guys want to sign up, then you should visit on the count of three. One, one two, two, three. Visit 1cc.com slash summer. So I believe that... Uh, I know they registered, but have we registered? I don't know. Maybe uh, we should go. Maybe we should go. But um, before we register, uh, let's say bye. bye. Come on, let's go register. Quick. <laughs>